Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Real Crew Mode. That is right. So, we're getting into the match versus Leicester City to start off. So, we're running with a 4 2 4. Uh, recovered from my mistakes against Tottenham Chelsea. Back to back uh, draws there, so it's a bit of a disappointment. But yeah, we've got a strong team ready to get into it. Hopefully, we can put in a more consistent performance and maybe get something good to spin. Let's go into it. Come on. So, first game of the episode, we are playing against Leicester City. So, at least in this point in the title race, uh, at least in the simulation, we have an option to go along and surpass Manchester United. So, after the Champions League clear out uh, last game, uh, very pleased with it, as we are able to, uh, I'd say, change our squad for the better overall. Uh, yeah, some players came out, some players came in, that was the purpose, just to try to get a chance to play with some different players and enjoy their talents. So let's take a look at the Leicester lineup, so they're running a 4-2-2-2. So, you got Musa, Vardy, Slimani, and I think Mahrez, uh, Zeeler, um, they got a pretty decent bench for themselves. And then us, we're running a 4-2-4. Got Pele, Jesus, Neymar, and Kyungman Sun. A pretty dangerous front four. And then we got George Best on the bench. Not exactly a bad guy to have there. Yeah, let's get into it. Pogba. It's Neymar. It's Pogba, it's Pogba. Pogba! It's Paul Pogba! It's one! And there we go, the dab maestro puts it away. It was a great run from Paul Pogba. And, well, I didn't mean to do it, but he dabs indeed. Dab, it dab, it dab. Yeah, um, solid goal. Pogba just overpowered uh, Demarai Gray there. And a nice, solid finish into the goal. Schmeichel could have came out a little bit more, but uh, good finish for Pogba, especially when he's being taken down pretty much. So, early on, we take a 1-0 lead. That's what we are looking for. I mean, jeez, man, he's literally just turning around and, like, dribbling, and I'm just flying around at him. So, yeah, um, not bad. Um, one nothing lead, I'll take that. It's not a perfect result. You obviously would have liked to pile in a few more goals against Leicester, but... Come on, it's headed... Oh, what a waste of a chance. I can't believe I did that. Probably should have tried to cut it in with him. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to make a change or two. George Best will come on. Jesus is going to get replaced by... Actually, Bale's going to come on. I'll play George Best uh, at... Uh, there. Okay. And I will have... Alright, there we go. Those are the two substations I'm going to make for the moment. And, uh... Hopefully it will uh, help us out. Headed, punched away. It's Bale! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Bale almost had a scissor kick there! And there we go, it's a narrow 1-0 victory over Leicester. Kind of a boring win in all honesty. Uh, Would have been quite nice if Bale had been able to score that scissor kick. Imagine that, imagine that title. Gareth Bale, OMG, ridiculous scorpion kick. That would have been sick, but uh, nah, that didn't happen, and uh, unfortunately misses that chance. So, yeah, um, let's get into the next game, and I will be skipping a game, to be honest with you. I'm skipping the Burnley game, because let's be honest here, I, I, I don't think we care for the game, to be honest with you. Liverpool is going to be second game of the episode that's going to set up a nice time where Bayern and will be in two episodes in a row, so... Alright now, so after the victory over Leicester City, a narrow 1-0 success, we're going to spin the wheel of victory. So, Alright, so we're going to spin the wheel now, we're going to be able to add a chemistry style. And so, obviously we upgraded someone very recently, and of course that was us getting someone by the name of Gabriel Jesus. That is right. So I'm going to put the shadow chemistry style on Gabriel Jesus 
for the next episode. Absolutely incredible there. Very, very pleased that we're able to get what we did. So, yeah, uh, logically, I'm going to be going with the same lineup. Uh, I like Musashio much better in defense than Marquinhos. Uh, Best is okay, but I just find Neymar is on another level, and Jesus is absolutely broken, honestly. He is just a stupendous player to have. But funny enough, um, I don't know, I've been finding these games challenge. I don't know, it feels like Legendary got kicked up a little bit, because it has been brutal in the last few games. But uh, let's get into this next match versus Liverpool, thinking we could uh, go on to grab a victory, but yet again, it's going to be difficult, but it would be nice to spin the wheel twice in a single episode. Let's get into it. So, second game of the episode, and we are going up against Liverpool. So, very good match. Uh, we stole Coutinho off of them, and we used him for a few games, but we really haven't used him much, in all honesty. So, yeah. However, it is going to be a good challenge. Liverpool still have some great players. Sadio Mane, man, he is just a, an insane player. And, uh... He'd be my dream target for a Chelsea right wing. I know everybody's like Alexi Sanchez, Mahrez, but if you could get Mane as a Chelsea right wing with Hazard and Morata, oh, that'd be broken. So yeah, uh, either way, our lineup, uh, unchanged from the previous game, was considering bringing Marquinhos back, but really enjoyed the defensive presence of Masaccio, so they're going to be staying in there, but we have a lot of good players coming off the bench potentially, and uh, I think our Antoine Griezmann may have another chance. So uh, yeah, Liverpool, they're running a 4-3. Uh, Lalana, Henderson, Mane, Firmino, Ben Woodburn. Why in the world is Daniel Sturridge not on? I swear Daniel Sturridge is on when I'm playing against Liverpool, maybe like. And there we go, halftime, okay. Uh, not sure who I really want to change. Everybody's been really good this half, honestly. It's just more so of a gotta put away chances. Or else. <laughs> Min Sun has let me down. Young Min Sun has really let me down. Horrible misses. And uh, this really could come down to cost us. And. Oh! I just got him sent off. Jesus is sent off. Ugh. Spell. Bail. Bail. It's Bail. Oh, it's a goal. It's a finish, and it's Raja Nyangalan. It's a huge goal, and with 84 minutes on the clock, we have managed to pull back a goal. Bail block shot again, saved by Curious, but then perfect positioning from Raja, who puts it away. Huge goal. That's what matters most. Raja, oh Raja, how badly we needed you. Good goal, good finish. Thank goodness. So now, okay, it's bail, it's bail, it's bail, it's bail, it's bail, it's bail, it's bail. It's bail. It's bail. It's Gareth Bail. It's the finish. It's two one. It's the incredible comeback. And who might that be? It is Pele. Who gets the 90th minute winner? Oh, what a stunning, riveting comeback. Gareth Bale just cuts down the wing. Insane pace. Substitution pays off. And Pele smacks it in to the back of the net. It's crushing for Liverpool, but it's glorious for us. As we manage to get a huge victory and make it back-to-back -back wins. Absolutely thrilling. And there we go, that's the end of the game. That is right. So, we managed to grab a 2-1 victory over Liverpool. So, it's a good thing I'll be uh, simulating uh, the game and back up to this point, because Jesus would have been uh, gone for the next one after being sent off. But we deserved it. Our performance was good. But seriously, I may actually switch uh, Nelson Smedo for... I know he said he did good, bud. Um... Honestly, I might actually switch him back for Ricardo Pereira. He's been a bit of a disappointment. I don't know. He just feels like really flimsy defensively. Like, he doesn't feel strong there when you like that Ricardo Pereira isn't as fast, but he just feels more reliable defensively, which I think is something that uh, someone like Semedo really lacks. 
after a 2-1 victory over Liverpool, we're going to spin the wheel yet again. Hopefully we can get something decent. So we're going to spin the wheel and... Okay, so we're going to steal a player from the previous match. So yeah, um, for the next episode, I will tell you who I've picked up. But in all honesty, yet again, it's pretty simple that even if the player is like Nathaniel Klein or something like that, still pretty much guaranteed not to be able to get into the lineup so yeah it'll be okay but not the end of the world there well that's gonna be the end of the episode so i want to thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and yeah i shall see you guys later